The Smiadovo Wedding. Every fairy tale ends with a wedding. This end is a new beginning, promising the procreation of life. The Smiadovo weddings are similar to those in fairy tales, and they ate, drank, and had fun for three long days. The preparation for this important family ritual begins after the engagement of the young couple. For the bride, they make a rich taffeta dress, take out the dowry, and prepare gifts for the guests of the wedding. On the Friday before the big day, messengers tour the village with a wooden wine vessel and basil to invite kin and close friends. On the Saturday, the medinic ritual is performed. The groom's mother makes bread with honey and hides a needle in it. The groom's friends take the bread to the bride's home, give it to her to break and sing. If the point of the needle comes out, the first child in the new family will be a boy. If the bread breaks from the needle's eye, it will be a girl. Early in the morning on Sunday, the wedding starts with the shaving of the groom, a symbolic parting with the bachelorhood. Neighbors come to his home and bring his mother contributions as a gesture of help to the young family. These gifts can be whatever they have at hand, flour, dried prunes, lard. Since the wedding is generally a huge expense, the house should not be left empty after it. During that time, the daughters have already brought in a barber who shaves the last bachelor beard of the groom. He wraps it in a white cloth, wishes the boy who had just become a man health and prosperity, and gives it to the mother. She then puts it away in the dresser as a memory from the time when she took care of her son. Then everybody heads for the bride's house. Meanwhile, the bride's friends have gathered and sung in expectation of the godmother to come and veil her. She makes three circles around the bride with the veil and casts spells for a good life and harmony in her new family. The wedding guests arrive and try to bribe the guards of the bride to let them go inside. The groom is impatient to stand next to his sweetheart. One of the girls brings a mirror and makes three circles around the couple so that they see how pretty they look, what a good match they are, and that they are now ready to get married. The bride's mother, however, must be convinced that her daughter will have proper support so she throws a piece of white linen around the groom's shoulders and pulls to see whether he is strong enough to drag the family yoke. The father of the bride puts a vine stem around his belt and wishes him that his wife wove around him like a vine. Finally, the mother brings the nishtelka from the loom and wishes the new family as many years of martial life as the threads of the nishtelka. The bride's friend sing a sad farewell song while she leaves her home to go to her new one. The procession stops at the church to perform the marriage ceremony before God. Then the rooster man buys the wedding rooster and the holly of the bride's girlfriends. Those are the symbols of the male and female which were used to decorate the bride's home the previous day. A piper plays Rachenitsa while everybody dances in joy to celebrate the commitment of two people who have joined forces to share the good and the bad in life. The three apples and the popcorn which adorn the holly are a promise of fertility and many children in the family. In the late afternoon, the wedding proceeds to the groom's house. His mother and father are waiting impatiently in the yard, holding flowers and candles. The yard is covered by a white cloth resembling a path, which welcomes the new helper in the house. But the guests are not ready to let the couple go yet. They wait for the ritual of giving. The groom's father gives his son an axe to cut wood for the family. Then he gives fields and stock to the young to have some subsistence. The mother of the groom in return presents her daughter-in-law with a sweep and a dustpan to keep the house clean. She then takes off the necklace with the golden coins she has received from bride's mother and gives it to her daughter-in-law with the will that one day it will be passed on to her son's wife. 
Before the beginning of the actual celebration, the groom's brothers carried the bride's little sister, the Svatichka, inside. She pretends to have an aching leg to check whether the new relatives will take a good care of her. Then everyone sits at the rich table. The family gives woven cloths to the guests as a symbol of health and long life. The guests also present their gifts, normally household items, to assist the young at the start of their life together. The celebration continues till dawn and does not really end because a new family fairy tale begins. <laughs>